next item is on the addition to the agenda. This is item two, presentation by Fred Morales on the Union Plaza District Report on the movement to become a historic district. Is he here? Yep. He's here. Where is Fred? Is he here? Yep. He's here. Where is Fred? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Fred Morales, El Paso Juarez historian. I did this report with UTEP archaeologists and this book is being cited more by my adversaries, 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 or his other historians, mostly from the UTEP uh, campus. and former members of the El Paso Historical Landmark Commission. Look, when this arena issue started, of which I am not involved, I never have gone to any meetings pro or against it, and I don't care no more, I was against the arena, and I don't care no more, I was against the arena, and I told my adversaries to stop using it, my adversaries to stop using it, that there is no grounds for this to become a historic district. I want it halted. I want a restraining action to occur where we can have an arbitrator between me and them. They provide their documentation. I provide mine. And then we can come to a better understanding of what the real history of that neighborhood was. The Mansion Hotel to me, every time when I got out of Franklin School, was a disgusting place for me every time to pass by that whorehouse and watch all the prostitutes there soliciting. It was a disgusting place for me every time to pass by that whorehouse. It took me 12 years and these people have stole a lot of history from La Chihuahuita since I've only written on the Union Plaza they pocketed a lot of my research, these chupacabra historians. These chupacabra historians and they won't listen to me, they're stubborn. I mean, I've dealt with these people before. Max Grossman, I challenge him to a debate, he chickened out on me. Same thing with David Romo, Yolanda Leva. Yolanda Leva brainwashed a lot of elderly citizens in that neighborhood, so they wouldn't knock it down. How can I support a historic district to become such? No way, Jose, not me, I'm not that historian. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any questions? Any questions? Yeah. So please, no more Duranguito. Okay. Thank you. Peter, did you have a question? And also is instrumental in the founding of the Chihuahuita Historic District as well as finding that founding the Chihuahuita Improvement Association in 1975. And so um, the idea of history belonging to certain people or not um, is not necessarily true. So, thanks. Okay, are we ready to go to executive session? They're from UTEP, they have a PhD or a master, that that makes them think they're perfect and accurate, but it's the opposite. Here's what Grossman has to say. Quote, I don't know Mr. Morales and he does not know me. I never understood why he's so full of hatred for the academic community. As I told him before, the proper forum for scholarly debate is in peer-reviewed publications and at academic conferences, not in front of news cameras." End quote. His presentation. I thoroughly love his challenge to the other historians for a uh, throwdown. So we'll see if that happens. So we'll see if that happens. So we'll see if that happens.